It's one of life's eternal questions. Can money buy happiness? Susan Spencer went looking for answers. In 2000, fresh out of college, Christian Inahosa took a juicy job as an investment banker, getting paid big bucks. You're making six figures at 21 years old. You have a car service at your disposal. You're flying all over the world. Think he was happy? I was miserable. I remember having the thought, all I'm doing is trying to make money for my clients, my bosses, and myself. And I said, I don't know if I could do this anymore. He stuck it out for five wretched years, then decided to chuck it and applied for a different job, a very different job. While I was actively employed as an investment banker, <laughs> I submitted an application to the Dallas Fire Department and a few months later got in. You went way out on a limb. Way out. <laughs> 13 years later, Captain Christian Inahosa lives modestly in a two bedroom Our rental, making, Cowboys well, let's just say, a lot Ooh, less good. than the yes. seven figure salary he would have been making. Yes. Yeah. You left a ton of money on the table but my quality of life went through the roof doing what I do. Do you feel proud of him for having made this decision? I, I do, I love it. People who are happier are also healthier. Amherst College psychology professor but, Catherine but Sanderson was Christian's undergraduate advisor. She says his decision was especially tough in our money-grubbing culture. There is this assumption always that if I just had a little bit more, if I just had a little bit more, then I will reach this happiness. But to that ultimate question, can money buy happiness? Sanderson's emphatic answer is no. The key to contentment, she says, is not how much you earn, but how you feel about earning it. When you talk to people who love their jobs, overwhelmingly what they say is not, I love my paycheck. <laughs> what they say is, I find the job meaningful. It's something she's trying to teach her own college-age son. I remember being at a, a brunch with some of his uh, friend's parents, and I said, I think my son Andrew would make a wonderful high school teacher. And another parent at the table said, oh, he's very bright. He could do so much better than that. Because of course he would want to do something and made more money. Of course. Research shows that once you are above the poverty line, making more money won't necessarily bring more joy, especially if you spend it on more stuff. The reason is what psychologists call the hedonic treadmill. Like hamsters on a wheel, we keep running after new stuff, never satisfied with the stuff we just got. There's a cartoon that I show uh, when I give a talk on this with somebody lying on their deathbed and the person says, I should have bought more crap. <laughs> That's ridiculous, right? Yeah. Because no one at the end of their life is thinking, my biggest regret is I wish I had a nicer car. So if spending money on stuff won't make you happy, how should you spend it? Even spending as little as $40 to buy ourselves out of a negative experience like cooking or cleaning can have significant benefits for people's happiness. In general, Harvard Business School professor Ashley Willens and her colleagues handed out cash to two groups of people, telling one to go buy themselves something and the other to pay someone to do a hated chore, like the laundry. Guess who was happier? Participants who bought themselves time uh, reported more joy and less negative emotions. So money, in fact, can buy happiness if you spend it in the right way. Yes, that's right. Just don't tell that to Christian Inahosa. Does money buy happiness? I don't believe it does. A story from Susan Spencer.